Welcome back, class, to another episode of Chaos Films Teaches. Today we're going to talk about math, uh, more specifically applied math, and we're going to talk about a concept called piecework pay. Now, piecework pay is a little differently than hourly uh, pay or straight time pay because in, in that type of pay, it matters how many hours you work. In piecework pay, you get paid more the more items that you produce, not necessarily the more hours that you work. Right? It doesn't matter whether you work 5, 10, 20, 50 hours. What matters is how much you're producing. Right? And so whenever you're trying to calculate piecework pay, the way that you calculate what that is, is you use the piecework pay equation. Piecework pay. So the piecework pay equation is going to be piecework pay is equal to the rate per item. Right? So how much do you make? per item that you produce, so rate per item times the number of items produced, number of items produced, okay? So if we just take a look at the equation and we try to make sure that we understand what goes into it, we take the rate per item, so how much do you make for each item that you produce, right? How much do you make per item? and you multiply that times the number of items that you produce. Now again, this could be a service, right? Maybe I fix ceiling fans and I get $10 per ceiling fan, right? I would be multiplying it times the number of ceiling fans that I fixed, right? And so this is how you calculate piecework pay. And you can see with piecework pay, the more you produce, the more money you'll make, right? It doesn't necessarily mean, you know, matter how many hours you're putting in, what matters is how much you're producing. So let's go ahead and take a look at one. Let's say that we have a business washing cars, right? We wash cars and we make $20, $20 per car washed. Okay. $20 per car washed. And th this week I washed 40 cars. Okay. I washed 40 cars. What I want to know is what is my piecework pay going to be? Obviously, this isn't take home. Um, taxes and deductions still have to get subtracted from this. But what is my piecework pay in terms of gross pay? The way that we calculate that, again, is we plug numbers into our equation. So it says rate per item. So that's how much I get per item. And the answer to that is 20, right? Because we get $20 per car that we wash and we multiply it times the number of items produced. So how many cars did I wash? Well, I washed 40 cars. So all I need to do is multiply these two numbers together and that will tell me my piecework pay. 20 times 40 is going to give you 800. So our gross piecework pay is $800. $800. So again, if you got that, excellent, good job. Um, there's nothing complicated about it, right? It's actually pretty simple. It's just a matter, again, of understanding what the equation is and what each component of the equation is so that I can plug in the right numbers, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at one more example together. Um, let's say that we have a job where we get paid $3.20 per item produced. Right? I don't know what it is that we're producing, but we get paid $3.20 for each item. Okay. Um, today, I happen to produce 140 items. I had a very productive day and I made 140 items, whatever that item is. Okay. Now, I want to know what is my piecework pay? What is my piecework pay? So I'm going to go ahead and look at my equation, rate per item. That's how much I get per item, so 320 times how many did I produce? Well, I produced 140 of them. So I just need to multiply these two together and that will give me my piecework pay, which in this case is 448, 448. So in piecework pay, we earned $448. Now, obviously taxes and deductions will get taken out of that, but this is our gross pay. This is our gross piecework pay, $448, cool. So awesome, guys. Hopefully that made it a little easier. Hopefully you guys understood the concept. Um, if you like the content, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, hit that bell for notifications. Don't forget we put out a new video, chess and math, Monday through Friday, every day of the week. Uh, thanks for stopping by and until next time.